Hey guys, I spy JD here from the JD clan, and today I am building a computer. Uh, so this has been on the cards for a long time. Um, I've been struggling along with a crappy old laptop for a couple of years now, and I've been trying to play games, and it's been terrible. So I'm really excited. Um, so I'm going to go through the PC build today. I'm, I'll give you a word of warning. I'm nowhere near professional or knowledgeable about any of this stuff. So forgiveness if I make some silly mistakes. Um, I'm probably just going to tell you the names of the things I got. I'll give you some reasons if I have any reasons, um, and I'll give you the price as well. And that's that's about it. So hopefully you enjoy. We um, we'll start off here with the case. We've got the Zigmatech Alpha uh, PC case. It, it, I got this one because it's um, big enough to fit everything. It should be pretty good. It's got a sexy window there on the front, which is going to be awesome. That cost me about four dollars more than the non-windowed one, but it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, the whole thing cost me, I think, that was another reason it's a nice cheap one. It cost me $55 plus postage. The postage was like 30, so 80 80-ish bucks. Um, or 90. So that's why I got that. Overall, I, I didn't say that at the start, uh, I went for a, a, a mid-range kind of thing. So it should be able to play most games pretty well on like the higher end graphics. But it also didn't set me back too much. Um, so with this case, I know apart from the sexy window, we've just got the standard things like the two USB 3 ports on the front, you know, your, your buttons uh, power and reset, and your headphone and microphone plugs. So nothing too exciting there. We'll move on to the, the more technical innards now. So here we go, moving on to the motherboard. We have the Gigabyte Z77X D3H, and I don't know what that means, maybe you guys do. Uh, I think this one cost me back, I'll have a look at my price sheet here, because I've forgotten. $140, $139, so I don't know, I think that's a pretty cheap one, or pretty average maybe, so I don't, I don't really know. Um, it's got all the goodies inside here, uh, got a nice cover plate. Actually, what excites me is that it has six USB 3 plugs, uh, or plug points there, so... Uh, unless that's misleading me, I'm pretty excited about that because, you know, the more USB plugs, the merrier. Uh, got some SATA cables there. We'll get to the good thing. And inside here, we have the motherboard. I guess I should unwrap that for you. I can do it. So I don't want to statically charge this, but uh, here's the motherboard. Very nice little one. That should easily fit, easily fit inside the case that I showed you before. Look at that. Whoa, that is nice looking. Whoa. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the power supply I got. Uh, this is one of the areas where I saved a bit of money. I just went for the the bronze rating, you know, 750 watt thing. I, I, I didn't go any higher than that. I think it cost me 148 dollars. Um, it is the Enamax Naxon. <laughs> I think that's probably, is that next there? No, it's just power supplies, nothing that exciting. Um, so inside we've got the power supply itself. Oh, it looks nice and shiny and gold. It's got a whole bunch of cables on there, which is going to be fun in a couple of hours. Um, also, it comes with a cute little baggie, which is full of wires, which is also going to be fun. And then after we do it all, I'm going to have a free bag. Here is a power thing that plugs into it. Nothing exciting, I'll move on from the power supply. Oh yeah, it also comes with these, which I think is um, Velcro, you know, cable management or something. I think it looks like Velcro, but again, not 100% sure. Could be anything. It says Enamax on it, which is extraordinarily exciting. Alright, now we move on to the CPU. And I got the Intel i5. Uh, what was it the 3500K, I think? Let's see if I can find the name. Oh, 3570K. 30, uh, the K means it can be overclocked, in my extensive knowledge of what Ks mean. Uh, it's just the i5, saved a bit of money, didn't go up for the, um, the 4570. Yeah, the i5. I also don't need to get the. Is it i7 that's next? Didn't need to get that. Not doing much Photoshop or anything that. So, yeah, there he is, got the Intel. I don't know, should I unbox it? Is it anything exciting to look at? Um, I'll do a quick, quick unbox of this bad boy. 
I'll let you all see my knife. This is one of my birthday presents. Look at this. It's a uh, it's a multi tool, so it's pretty sick. Woo! There it is. Intel i5 CPU. Looking good. Uh, I don't want to shake this around too much. Is that the actual? There's this bad boy in there. This is the the heat sink. So. I'm not going to take it all apart just yet, otherwise I'll end up losing screws. Um, but I will show you this. There he is! Look at my little, my little CPU. It's so cute. Ooh, very shiny there, lots of gold. Alrighty, so... i5, uh, 3570K. When I spend on that, I will consult, consult my price thing. $255. So yeah, um... And I had a bit of, there was lots of uh, decision making with this one. Um, I kind of rushed through it because I really wanted my computer. Uh, I had, Moodle was telling me I should have got the 4570 which would only be about $20 more and then uh, I had um, Daxon was saying just get this one, it's better for games for some reason, so I don't know, better for overclocking. If that's true, if not, you can go over to ETR Gamer and rate it them. I'm just regurgitating what I've heard from them. Uh, moving on. We'll go to the memory. I got this Samsung 840. Now this is apparently a really good entry level SSD. It's 120 gigs. It's got uh, pretty reasonably good read and write speeds. Um, and it only sent me back $102 from MSY, so it's really good. Here it is. It's a nice uh, sleek looking SSD. I love the little silver or I don't know shiny trim on the side there, I don't know if you can see it, it's really shiny and nice. So yep, yeah, there's that. Also comes with some neat little stickers if you want to vandalise your case. So, I don't know, maybe a giveaway. Drop a comment on the video and I'll give you a sticker. I got the, uh, what's the name of this one? I think it's Caviar Blue something. Let me have a quick, <laughs> it's the hard drive by the way. Where is its price? Oh there it is. No? Oh yeah. Okay. So I found out this price. Uh, I got the one terabyte WD Caviar Blue, and it cost me seventy-two dollars. So terabyte knowledge there. It's gonna be good. Uh, memory is knowledge, so I'm gonna call it knowledge from now on. Uh, I love how this is only seventy-two dollars, and the hundred twenty gig thing is hundred dollars. SSDs are expeno. Um, but they're probably worth it. Moving on, still staying with the memory. I got myself two uh, eight gigabyte sticks here for the 16 gig of awesomeness. I think these are Kingston, um, just Kingston DDR3-1600 memory, whatever that means. So yeah, there we go. They cost, uh, what is it, 60, $70 each. So this is pretty expensive as well. But that should be great. That's one of the things that pained me the most about my laptop was uh, not having enough RAM. It always just lags all over the place. So I've got that. It's going to be sick. I'm looking forward to it. I did not. I, I tried not to sting too much when it came to memory. Um, the hard, the hard disk doesn't really matter. But I wanted to get a good SSD and some good RAM, so I don't have to deal with much more lag. All right. What else have we got? Boring things because you don't have the GPU to show you. I just got a standard, uh, I think it's a Samsung DVD uh, a rewritable one. Um, yeah, don't really need to know about that. Cost me $19. Chuck him over there. And finally, I've got some, some fans because the case here I think can fit about four fans in it. Um, it came with one, so I bought another two. I'm not going overboard, I'm not getting three. Uh, so here we go, I got these. I was really looking for silence because I'm going to have this computer in my bedroom. Um, I think this one was the, the quietest one I could find. It was like 10, the minimal noise because you can swap between low noise and you know higher cooling rates. The minimum noise is 10 decibel amps, so that should be really good. The Animax TB Silence. <laughs> that didn't work as well as I hoped. <laughs> there you go. That's going to be in my case. Uh, I also went for not LED. I had a lot of people tell me not to get LEDs and I think they're right because again this is going to be 
in my bedroom and it's got a window so that'll keep me up all night if I, if I get LEDs so I, as awesome as it would be I got the boring old non-LED ones so there you go uh, so yeah when the uh, graphics card gets here I'll show it to you but until now that's, that's all and we'll start putting things in it Alright guys, so uh, my friend Daxon has finally turned up and we have the GPU. This is the GTX 590. Um, it's apparently pretty good, you know. I thought I'd save some money here, so this one sent me back $20. <laughs> I'm actually uh, renting it off Daxon for a year for 20 bucks, so yeah. good deal. Um, tell us about it, Daxon, what is it? Uh, GTX 590, one of the best NVIDIA graphics cards of previous generation. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Should run all the games you need on the highest settings you want. So, so it's two. It's two GTX 580s. Yeah, it's got the GPU from two GTX. Yeah, it's nice. Um, also, this is how far we've come with building the uh, PC so far. We've got. I think we've pretty much got everything in there, don't we? Yeah. So we just need to chuck this bad boy in, and then get some cable management, and we'll be good to go. So, I don't know. We'll see you when it's done. I can make this spin. There we go, you see it didn't spin. I was like, shit. <laughs> it's like my asthmatic. <laughs>